Now this, this is a cool product. Now I, there have been quite a few liquid cooled uh, memory kits in the past, but I have never actually seen one in person. This is the first one that I've gotten to check out. So this is a HyperX Performance kit from Kingston, and it is liquid cooling ready. You see those barbs right there? Those appear to be one quarter inch barbs, which I will explain how you can actually make practical use of even in a custom liquid cooled setup. So these are DDR3 2000 megahertz C9 modules. It's a six gig kit. So that means it's optimal for Core i7 on the LGA 1366 platform. Let's open it up and have a look. Oh yeah, and there's a joke. There's a joke in this episode that is just like the funniest thing ever, but you have to wait till the end. You have to, you have to wait till the end to find out what the joke is. It's really funny though. Okay, so here it is. HyperX H2O. So I'm just going to lift it out by the barbs here. Uh, there we go. So I'm not sure exactly how this heat spreader works, but you can see it's got like blue accents on it. Ooh, I like that. Check that out. So it's got like blue HyperX style accents. And then over top of that, there's kind of like a black and red and white themed uh, heat spreader here. So let me sort of, let's look closer at this and see if we can figure out exactly how the whole thing clips together. So you can see there's screws here and here. Okay, and those go all the way through. So presumably that's clamping the entire heat spreader down on, uh, on top of what seems to be like a, a sub heat spreader. I can't tell if the black one and the blue one are actually like permanently attached or if they're just clamped together. And then you've got a thermal interface material between the uh, the heat spreaders and the dim itself. They're not that heavy actually. I'm, I'm a little bit surprised. They're really not that heavy. It looks like uh, these barbs just go straight through. So you can see right there. So there's no, um, there's no winding around through the water block. I mean, really round doesn't produce a lot of heat. So if you're even just giving it some contact with cool water, it should cool it more than adequately. And uh, okay, that was pretty much it for the unboxing and checking out the HyperX H2O. Uh, the next part is check out the, uh, wait, wait for the, wait for the joke, wait for the joke, it's funny. Okay, this is the joke, this is the joke. So um, here on the HyperX H2O page, it says, it uh, delivers high speeds and extreme performance, features a unique extreme cooling option that uses liquid to dissipate heat. So that's all great and fine. And then down at the very bottom, notice all Kingston products are tested to meet our public's published specifications. Kingston does not recommend that any user attempt to run their computers faster than the published speed. Overclocking or modifying your system timing may result in damage to computer components. So it's, uh, I don't know, I just, I, okay, maybe it's not that funny now that I look at it again. But, um... I just thought it was kind of funny that Kingston selling you like liquid cooling ready memory with a warning not to overclock it because uh, yeah, you're pretty much going to do that. Oh yeah. And uh, the way that I would recommend running this memory, if you want, if you're running like a three eighths or a half inch water cooling system and you want to make it compatible with the quarter inch barbs on the HyperX H2O is what I would do is I would get like a, a three way splitter or a four way splitter and then just plug up one of the ends and then actually split your 3 8 inch tubing or your half inch tubing into three quarter inch, go into your triple channel memory from the top, come out the bottom, meet into another splitter, and then meet up with the rest of your loop. That way you don't lose a whole lot of flow going through these uh, tight quarter inch barbs and you're still able to get all the extra performance out of these dims. Now that's not to say these won't run just fine without water cooling. If you just want to run them air cooled, that's fine too. Thank you for checking out my unboxing of the HyperX H2O and don't forget to subscribe to my video blog.